Uh, we do not want to even up, I mean, give them home court again, so we got to exert ourselves tomorrow. The, the, the familiarity of how to play football before, is that helps with things like this, or is he playing different? So it's different. It's good helps. You go against a guy for several years. Yeah, it definitely helps. Steve was talking the other day about the playoff record at home, saying you guys play with more pace. Why do you think that is? Is that coming from the crowd, or is it coming from the players' part to play faster at home? What's probably part about? of it is definitely the crowd. Crowd definitely helps. Maybe we just feel better at home, I don't know. But it's, uh, it's hard to say why. It's, it's interesting instead. Do you feel like, what do you feel like you guys do better at home? I mean, obviously, you're a good team at home, but the numbers at home are not playing. Uh, I think our defense, uh, although it's been good in Houston game one, game two, they're so much but our defense at home leads to a lot of transition opportunities. Get out and see the ball going the basket. Just uh, gives everyone confidence, you know, especially if you make a couple of easy shots. You feel like you can pull it from 30 feet after that. So it gives you rhythm, and I think you just get more easier buckets at home for my defensive stops and deflections. Do people understand like how different the type of defense you guys and the Rockets are playing is from what's been done in the NBA for decades, yeah, right? It's very different. <laughs> But uh, that's why our team is built like this, so we can play this circuit this way. And we got so many guys with light size and similar skill sets. I mean, our center is six foot seven, but he plays uh, guard every position. So it's pretty modern. it's pretty cool to see, and it's kind of like we modernized the NBA. And I don't know, it's going this direction, but it looks like it. I mean, you're kind of running centers out of a job, then, but like seven. Oh, no, no, there's still a lot of great bigs. In this game. <laughs> and, um, there's still a lot of great players in the center court. Yeah. Just to play on the block. I know you've seen it a million times, but it's going to start hitting the shots. It's got a great ball in the basketball. And you talked the other day about how it was quite the struggles with the real life man. Is there a sense of relief for you guys off the floor? Um, I don't really think it's relief because we're not uh, worried when Steph's missing shots or making shots. As long as he exerts the effort, um, great things gonna go his way. And, uh, no, it wasn't any relief. I mean, it could be Steph, could be me, it could be KD, Andre, Draymond. Whoever had a big night, it's fine. But last night, with that win, that's all. Hey, we're two one now. That's all that matters. No one's gonna remember. It. You know, Steph, you did have an amazing game. Never mind. <laughs> all different. Play differently with the Rockets. Um, a little bit. He doesn't have the ball as much as he used to. And, um, probably had a higher usage rate with the Clippers. He's off the ball more with the Rockets, but he still, when he has the ball in his hand, he still plays very similar. You know, getting the paint. Uh, always looking for that long threat. Very good in the mid range still. When Andre is playing the way he did yesterday, you guys look pretty unbeatable. It's kind of like a good bellwether for you guys. What's the biggest misconception about what he brings to the team? Because obviously the box score doesn't reflect everything that Andre does for you guys. Um, at times, I do think the box score affects because we always have a couple, a couple steals, four or five rebounds, five points, four or five assists. He just does it all. He just always makes the right play. He'll always come to a jump stop, just like last night. Came to a jump stop on the block, could have gone up for layup, but made the extra pass to Nick Young. Yeah. So he uh, just sees basketball at a very high level. And uh, not a huge believer in analytics, but I'm sure analytics are on Andre's side. When you have a guy like Draymond, who obviously is so great at health and health defense and reading what's going on on the court, but you also have a guy like Andre can do the same thing. How much confidence does that give you when you're at the point of attack that, hey, even if I get beat, if I play over aggressive, I got not one, but two, and sometimes even three with KD behind me? Oh, it gives us a ton of confidence, especially because this team's so good at the three-point line. You don't want to let them step into open threes. That's how they get going. So having those guys behind you gives you the confidence to play in pressure your man more, getting the ball, and knowing that you have great, great protection behind you, it, it does wonders. Do you think that 
you do you like the challenge of just switching on to all different types of offensive players? Like, I think last night the stat, I think they were one for ten when you were a primary defender. Yeah, and uh, we all I love showing my defense versatility. It's not just trying to shut down the two guard position. It's trying to shut down any man guard. Uh, it's Chris Paul the one, um, Capella the five. We try to be a pest on everybody. That's what the best defenders do. And um, I think everyone on our team has that attitude. That's why we're so good at switching. How hard is that to prepare for, right? You have to study each tendency for all these different kinds of players, right? Yeah, you do, but. Luckily for us, we watch. We uh, love this sport, so when you're watching opposing teams, it's not really homework. It's more just pleasure. And yeah. it, it comes with that. You should remember the tendencies and stuff. And it's just fun to apply those when you see, you know, every play. You got to think quickly out there. Mm -hmm. Clear. Hard against any kind of letdown. They don't come out like you did in game two. Uh, you forget about it. You, uh, as simple as it is. Have the back of your mind that you know we're not, we haven't done much yet. We're two and one, which is great for this to be, but we won't get away from getting that home court again. So uh, just be a for about winning the home court too, keep the streak going. You know, we just eclipsed an NBA record, so it'd be pretty cool to keep that going. And uh, we have a beautiful opportunity to do that tomorrow. Was it a must win game? No, it's not a must win game, but we would like to win it very badly. Wait, this has been kind of a season long kind of journey. Are you surprised there hasn't been like, a night where you guys go all the your best basketball? Yeah. Uh, not really. I mean, both teams got guys who can take over the game. Um, obviously, we saw that last night, Steph. But as far as the games being closer, I'm surprised, man. Teams have both, of, both of our teams have great power, firepower, so you can see how it's going to be. The play Steph is finishing so well at the rim in this series. His three wasn't working, so he just went right to the hole. What, what have you noticed from him? Well, he's been doing that his whole career. He's so acrobatic down there. And his ability to put spin on the ball finishes, you know, one of the best in the NBA. Your guys have the reputation as best defender. I think after the game, that's not even Steve mentioned Nick Young. He's playing important defense and hasn't necessarily always been his reputation. Has he, has he been engaged on that side of the ball this season? Have you noticed anything with him? Yeah. Oh, he's been great this series. Uh, Gordon James, Dr. Chris Paul, whoever he's on. He's uh, stayed disciplined, stayed in front of him. And uh, as happy go lucky as swag he is, he's also a competitor. He's making threes out there. He's a great three great player. That's why he's part of Mitch out himself for even this league. Great for us this year. Yeah. It's an honor yeah, playing. Yeah, did, did you play how the deep part of that existed before this year? I think yeah, I've I seen it. Uh, Luke Walton said he's the best defender on the Lakers when he's coaching. Uh, you know, Luke at the time said that was a bit of an accomplishment. But, uh, um, but um, I mean, it's great. I didn't know he knew that his feet that well, but. <laughs> definitely show why his value in this series and why the bottom line is close and stretch the floor and the star on defense. Boy, how have you seen the team evolve defensively throughout the season? What's that? How have you seen the team evolve defensively throughout the season? Uh, I think our communication's been great this, this postseason and then just our uh, ability to attack the ball, the ball hand map. And, uh, we don't sit back and let the offense dictate what they want to do anymore. And uh, since the postseasons came, I think we've done a great job of making all just to us on that side of the ball. We have had our slip ups three games, so hopefully we won't have any more of those. How much of that is Draymond? How much of that is just Draymond yelling back there, quarterbacking and everything behind the yeah. defense? Oh, it's huge. I mean, he sees everything, and he can get from point A to point B, you know, as best as anybody can this league, being a big man. And, um, he says he's like a quarterback back there on defense and offense. Can you repeat any of the things he says, or is it a little bit like Steph's thing on the big, big screen last night? <laughs> I, can, I can repeat it. You know, he's pretty knowledgeable out there. <laughs> Might be some extra wood, but that's fine. <laughs> it's competition. No one's yeah. uh, Draymond said the Rockets had a great offense. He emphasized great. What do you expect to see from that offensive game after they've had a uh, I expect 
expect them to go to the, the rim early. I expect them to try to attack us, not waste so long on the shot clock. I expect them to try to get out of transition. Did you watch the show with Williams? No. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. 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 Yeah.